So what you will not get in today's video is a bunch of bull fluff on how to rank Google Business Profile. What I will give you is hard proof on what really ranks these Google Business Profiles. Of course, formerly known as Google My Business, or I also like to just call them map listings. There is absolutely no reason to make ranking map listings complicated. And I'm gonna prove this to you with real data. You see, I already kind of knew this data, but I knew that if I came here and just told you about the data and what really works, that you're not gonna believe me, so I wanna show you the data. Because otherwise, you're gonna say, it can't be that simple, Greg. Yes, yes, it is that simple. I see these videos of like 72 things that you need to do to rank your Google business profile, and it makes me want to smash my fucking keyboard. Yes, yes, exactly like that, editor. Great job. And look, if you're doing organic SEO for any type of local business and you're not focused fully on map listings or at least like 90% focused on map listings, you are wasting your time and money. At this point, regular organic rankings are virtually a, a negative, right? As far as a return on investment. So if you're not focused on your map listings rankings, you are really making a big mistake. It would be like having a Lamborghini that doesn't start. You're going to attract all these girls and they're all going to be like, oh my God, oh, a Lamborghini. And they're going to get in your Lamborghini. And then when they ask you to go somewhere and you tell them it doesn't start, they're going to be like, see a loser. They're going to go leave you for, for Kia Kyle or uh, Honda Henry because your Lambo looks good, but it doesn't start. Clients are going to come in attracted by your shiny lead magnet objects. And then when your system doesn't work and they're getting no phone calls, they're going to say, see a loser. It's like having a, a big that doesn't work. Girls are going to say, oh my God, his weenie's so big. But when they find out it doesn't work, they're going to laugh at you and shame you for your impotency. And then they're going to leave you for little Danny or even worse, little rocket Ronnie, because at least she gets something out of their little weenies. Okay. Enough of the bad entertainment with hypothetical Lamborghinis and uh, little weenies. Let's get into things. Now, before we get into this data, we're going to assume that you have basic GBP optimization down, right? So that should be obvious. All right, so here's the data. So here's my data. Now, what you can see here is I got 50 different search terms and we used all different cities in different niches, right? So I did like a bunch of lawyers. And I did, you know, some other niches. Now, if I scroll down, we have a lot of data here. Now, what I tracked, up, you'll see up here, we tracked the amount of views they have, when the reviews were left since, so how old they are, how steady the reviews came in, the average rating of the reviews, whether there was photos in the reviews or not, how many of the reviews from, were from local guides, the number of reviews by reviewer. So the average number of reviews by reviewer, this is like, so if someone's left, you know, uh, 20 reviews, well, they're, you know, their number's 20. And if the next guy left 10, well, their average would be 15 because it's in the middle. So it takes the average number of reviewers of reviews by reviewers. So whether they're responding to reviews or not, the keyword percent in the reviews. So this basically measures like how much keywords are used in the reviews they're getting. And I'll show you all this. And then also, are they posting to their GMB uh, section? Are they making GMB posts? Now, what I want to do is show you how I got this data really quick. So if we go over here and we do a search for Fort Wayne injury lawyer, this is the first one that is on my spreadsheet here. Okay, and you can see it right here. So this one that has 105 is actually number two now. It's this one right here. So these, these two actually flip-flop since I got this data a couple weeks ago. But if we click on review right here for this GMB Everywhere plugin that I have installed, it's going to bring up this audit result. And this is where I got all this data from. Now, of course, I had a VA go and get all this information together for me. But this gives all the data, right? The total number of views, how many reviews of photos, the, their average Google rating, or their overall Google rating the number of reviews provided by local guides, uh, the average of Google review rating, and then of course, average number of reviews given by people who reviewed this business. And then right here, you see their kind of review uh, history, and this is really important. So 
let's go back to the data and let's just like scroll down here. So the number of reviews we can see if we scroll down, we can see that does matter, right? It, it's very similar for all the top ranking ones. Like if you try to come in and be and be ranking, you know, in this particular niche right here with like 20 reviews, well, you don't have a good chance because all these guys have at least a hundred. So you're going to want to be in that range with the reviews and you're going to tell your client, look, this is how many reviews the top people have. This is what we want to expect. So, but this also tells me the amount of reviews definitely matters when it comes to ranking. So the amount of reviews you have is going to matter. So this is one of the big ones actually. And notice this since, right? So this is when they started getting the reviews. Now, this is something that I preach with links and it's no surprise that the same thing works with reviews because the way Google works is the things that are hardest to manipulate are going to be their biggest ranking factors. So what is the hardest thing to manipulate when it comes to getting backlinks for ranking organically? Well, it's getting relevant backlinks that are old. Okay. If I want to manipulate the search engines, I can't just go out and get an old backlink. Any backlink I get is going to be brand new, no matter what I do. It doesn't matter if it's on an established page, it doesn't matter where it is. It doesn't matter how credible the site is. If I get a backlink today, it is still one day old or zero days old, however you want to say that. If I got a link a year ago, it's a year old. Doesn't matter anything else. Like that is the hardest thing to manipulate. And that's why they make it such a big factor now because you can't really manipulate that. Well, the same thing goes with reviews. And that's why you see this since column you're going to see pretty much no sites with before like 2023. So what that means is all these sites ranking have reviews at least from like a year or two ago, and most of them a lot older. So this tells us they are giving a lot of credit to reviews that have been around for a while, because again, that is impossible to manipulate. No matter what I do, if I, whatever kind of magic I pull, I can't make a review be older than, than a day if I got it yesterday. It's impossible to do, and that's why it's such a big factor. So if I scroll down, you look in the since column, what do you notice? Everything is pretty old, right? You see a lot of stuff, 2016, 2020, 2015, 2020, 2018, 2019. You see very few sites. Here's one right here that started in 2023. That's the first one we've seen. Uh, here's one right here, so that's two. But we have 150 results here. So far, we only have two. There's three right there, four, but that's a lower competition niche as well. Keep scrolling down. Let's see, I'm going quick, but I still don't see any. So look, I saw four out of 150 that are 2023 or higher, right? All the rest are 2020, 2022 or below. And most of them are like, you know, 2013, 2017, 2018, older reviews. Now, that may not be the data that you want to hear, but this is the data you need to know. I'm not going to give you some fluff bullshit just to kind of fill your panties with whatever, you know, to, to make you feel good. I'm going to give you the real data, right? This is what's really working for ranking maps. And this isn't necessarily a bad thing. You got to tell your clients this. You can show them this data, right? Come up with your own data, get your own spreadsheet, show them the data and say, look, you got to give me time. Like, look at the competition. They've been getting reviews since 2016. We can, we can outdo them. We can get more reviews, but we need to start now because we need to start aging these reviews, all right? Let's move on to the next one, steady. Are they coming in steadily? And if you look at this column, most of them do have reviews coming in steady, but there is a, you know, a decent amount of no's mixed in there as well. So I don't think like a steady inflow of reviews is like a big ranking factor, but at the same time, I would kind of try to have steady reviews because it is somewhat natural looking. So even though I don't think it's a really big ranking factor, it is something that I would that I would focus on. So for average rating, I don't think this is necessarily like a huge ranking factor either. But of course, we want to get good reviews because that's just going to help all around. So this is this one doesn't really matter. I don't really care if the if the average rating is a review factor or not because no matter what, we're trying to get the most high reviews possible for conversion reasons, right? So that one's not really relevant. Photos. This one, I, I, I've determined, you know, a lot of people try to get like a lot of photos and the reviews, but if you look at the numbers as we scroll down, there's a lot of listings with zero, right? So it, I don't think having photos in your reviews really matters. It's not going to hurt you for sure, but I don't think it's really like a, a high ranking factor, okay? Local guides. So this is something that may make a difference because as we, as we scroll down here, we see a lot of these have reviews from local guides. There's few of them with, with zero in there. But there's a lot of them that do have listings from local guides. 
So if I'm getting reviews, I'm going to try to see if I can get maybe some local guides reviews mixed in if possible. So average number of reviews by the reviewer, this also could matter. Um, you know, if you get all reviews where it's just like the person's first review, it may be a flag for them. So not necessarily maybe a ranking factor, so to speak, but I, it is something that I would be careful of because if you're getting all reviews from, from reviewers that only have one review, we're not seeing much of that in this data, right? So if it's not in this data, you probably don't want to have it in your data because this is what's working and you want to kind of go as close to what's working as possible. So are they responding to reviews? And you'll see as I scroll down here, most people are responding to most of the reviews, right? And that's probably something you want to do. Again, there is a good amount of not reallys in there. So obviously you can not respond to your reviews and do well, but why would you not respond, right? It's going to help your conversion. It's going to help. It can only help. So that is definitely a practice that I would definitely do. So keyword in review. Now, if we go back to this map here and I scroll down, how I had my VA analyze this was like, how often are they saying keywords in their in their reviews, right? And this kind of tells you the review keyword an analysis. So they got accident here, they got lawyer here, they got settlement injury, but they don't have a ton of it, right? Their highest things, which which I would want to see, are like the name of the company uh, and, and things probably like the owner of the company and then kind of like general words and then keywords. So I rated this one on the scale about a three out of 10. Now, if they had like keywords where the like the, the top ones or like this top row have like a bunch of keywords in it, well, that's a 10 out of 10. That's kind of how I, I judge that one right there. Now, for keyword and reviews, I know a lot of people say this is really important, but what it seems to me as I look at these is it, it it's different from niche to niche. So what you probably want to do is analyze the each niche that you're doing. You know, if you're working client stuff, each niche is going to be maybe a little different. Like this one, I'd rather have this niche right here or this, you know, city and niche. I'd rather have like a three out of 10 when it comes to my keyword and percent of reviews. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Now, this one here is a lot higher, right? These guys are a lot more aggressive in this Durham painter niche. So I'm probably going to be a little more aggressive with keywords in my review. So my recommendation for keyword percent in reviews is analyze what your niche is doing in your city and kind of go from there. Now, GMB post, I don't know if this is a ranking factor or not, but again, most people are posting to their GMB post. So it's a habit that I would do. So what do we get out of this data? My thing is, I think as, as you know, not that I think, or I've known this already, but I want to show you with the data, the biggest ranking factor is reviews and specifically older reviews. Because what we're seeing here is sites ranking with mostly more reviews, right? And the ones that have older reviews, as you can see right here, are the ones that are ranking generally, okay? Like 95% of the time. So if you have a site that has older reviews, well, you have a good chance of ranking. So we need to set up our clients and tell them, look, we need to get ahead of the ball. We can catch these guys. Like th there's plenty of sites that start, you know, a year or two ago with the reviews, but we got to start now. That also gives you time, right? As we're doing this, as we're moving along, remind them, look, remember, don't forget the data. Like it's going to take a year or two for these reviews to age and really get us a lot of credit. And that's going to help keep them on board. And while you're doing that, you can start getting them calls with the LSA ads, which I talk about in other videos. So if you're not subscribed, you got to subscribe. And this is what kind of stuff we talk about to make sure you're up to date. So that's the data right there. That's the hard hitting stuff. I mean, when it comes down to it, you want to start getting reviews and you want to start aging them. That's the big thing, right? Everything else is kind of secondary. Like all this other stuff we talked about, you can get your own game plan. But the big thing is right here, reviews and old reviews. All right, so look, it's as simple as that, okay? We're, we're, we're not going to give you 37 different factors that rank a Google business profile. It's ridiculous, man. It's, people are giving you fluff to fill up their videos and to get more content out there and probably half of them because they actually believe it. But I can tell you it's in the data that it's very simple. Google bases their algorithms based off things that are hard to manipulate. The hardest thing to manipulate are reviews and old reviews at that because it's impossible to go in right now, today, and get a review that's five years old. You can't do it. Okay, it's, it's, it's impossible. So that is why Google puts so much weight on that. Again, in a way it sucks, but in a way it's, it's something for you to convey to clients. It gives you more time. It also shows them you know what the f*** you're talking about. Because clients like when you, when you don't bull them. Clients don't want to hear all the fluff either, right? They want to be provided with data like this where you're being straight with them and they have a, a, a real game plan to follow. So 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video on what really ranks GMBs or GBPs or whatever the hell you want to call them these days. That's it right there. That That's the big ticket right now. Uh, hope you guys like this video. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment. Talk to you soon.